Like many, I'm in search for a simple, effective, cheap and safe solution to provide a 12 volt rechargeable lithium power supply that can be embedded into projects and just left there. The battery pack needs to be powerful enough for larger projects and self-managing, meaning it's safe from overcharging and over-discharging, which is the quickest way to start a fire or destroy the cells. I've started assessing uh, the different possible approaches and components, including 3S battery chargers and battery protection boards. So let's start by looking at some of the approaches and the pros and cons for each. So the easiest and cheapest approach is to use a BMS. So this allows you to connect three 18650 batteries in series, giving a battery pack that produces between 8.7 and 12.6 volts at many amps. So the cell voltage can go lower, but the BMS cuts off the cell if the voltage drops below 2.9 volts. The BMS also steps in if the voltage exceeds 4.25 volts per cell. This is also a good thing as the voltage Higher than this can cause damage to the cell or cause a cell to rupture, which can cause fire. To use the three cells and the BMS as your power pack, you connect the power, the input, to the main positive and negative of the BMS. This is also the power output connection point, so you also connect your project to this point on the BMS. Power from your external supply will flow to your project and to the BMS. The BMS will distribute the power to the cells. If the external supply has enough power to power the project and enough left over to also charge the cells, you might think all is good. The downside here is that if the project is hungry and the external supply is insufficient to power the project and charge the cells at the same time, the cells will constantly be drained and not charged correctly. This solution might work for a while and has been used by many before, but it's not ideal. If we look at the problems of just the BMS solution, we can try to address some of the problems and come up with a better solution. The first thing is to charge the cells properly to get the best charge and life from the cells. To do this, we could introduce a 3S lithium charger to the circuit just like this one. This board promises the correct constant current and constant voltage charging of three lithium cells connected in series through the BMS. My initial tests show that it's an improvement over the raw 12 volt supply, but it's not working as well as a tried and true battery charger such as the well-known TP4056. So performance aside for the moment, this would address the correct charging issue if it worked perfectly. The new problem is that this board requires 15.6 to 22 volts to work correctly. If we leave our external power supply at 12 volts, no change there, we can find the additional voltage needed by introducing a step up or boost DC regulator slash converter. This will boost external, uh, the external 12 volt to 15.6 volts or higher. In this example, I'm using another well-known and cheap option based on the XL6009 IC. This gives variable output up to 35 volts and carries enough current when boosting from 12 to 15.6 volts. The new problem here is that the external power is connected to the project and to the battery charging circuit. This is going to cause an undesirable loop. We have two options to fix this we can not connect the external power to the project and only have the project draw power from the battery pack. This only works if the project draws less power than can be provided by the charging board, which is two amps. If that's the case, then you're done. If not, we need a way to disconnect the output from the BMS and allow the external power to power the project and charge the cells through the power regulator and the 3S charger. To do this, we can use relays. There are many types and packages, but for now I'll demonstrate with the large traditional type relay that has enough power handling and can be triggered with a 12 volt supply. Relays are basically an electrically controlled switch, which we can use to completely disconnect the output of our BMS. 
So we've taken our previous solution and added a relay or two to disconnect the battery power going to the project when external power is connected. It works just like a light switch. When external power is present, the relays trigger and disconnect the BMS power. When external power is disconnected, the relays return to their normal, normally closed state and allow power to flow to the project. I've tested this solution on one of my LED light panels that draws up to 4.5 amps at 12 volts and it works. But in the end state, I don't want to be using large relays and I don't want to use a charging board that runs extremely hot and doesn't give an optimal charge. So this solution might be improved by finding better charging boards and solid state relays, maybe even a single board containing all of the necessary parts. So what about using a different number of cells or using multiple TP4056s as I mentioned before? I will cover these options another time and we'll keep looking for a better solution and better components to allow embedded rechargeable power packs into projects. So that's all I've got time for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you give the video a thumbs up and by all means subscribe and join me again next time.